on this top table and plenty of young talent as well joining us. A special night in Belfast ahead of a few special weeks. I mean, imagine a world where it was big fight after big fight after big fight in different cities around the world. Welcome to the world of Matrim and the Zone. Because when we leave Belfast after Dublin last week, we're in San Francisco next week, where Devin Haney will look to become a two division world champion against the reigning world champion, Regis Progre. Then we're off to Phoenix, of course, where Sonny Edwards will attempt to unify the division against Jesse Bam Rodriguez. And then the card of the year, the day of reckoning in Riyadh. Anthony Joshua will headline against Otto Wallin, Deontay Wilder against Joseph Parker, Dimitri Bivol, Jai Apatire. A huge night to round off what has been a stunning 2023. And we can't wait to show you what we've got planned for next year. But right here, right now, we're in Belfast this Saturday. We're going to talk to the gentleman below me as well. We're going to start with uh, a young man making his professional debut on the card. Laylee Butterjig. Laylee, welcome. Um, a massive night for you. We didn't expect your professional debut to come in Belfast, but a huge card and uh, ready to go in the moment of your career so far. Yeah, I'm ready to go, Eddie. Um, I've been in the gym for a long time now, waiting for this moment, so I'm grateful to be out end of the year and get the ball rolling. Um, a young man, of course, only 18 years of age, and, and an opportunity for you to start this apprenticeship. And it's all about experience for you, all about momentum as well. We know you won everything that could be won as an amateur, but, but a young man to be turning pro, you feel it's the right time? Yeah, definitely. It's the right time for me to turn pro because I won everything as an amateur. I had no interest in going into being a senior. Um, I wanted to just go learn, go train with the pros and just learn my trade in the professional game and work my way up. And top sparring as well for you in the, the iBox gym. Of course, Al Smith and Eddie Lamb, great training team behind you and, and speak very highly about your talents. Yeah, definitely. Um, we, we're a good team down there. We all work hard. Uh, Al Smith, a good trainer. He's been around a long time, same as Eddie Lamb. And yeah, we're just ready to go. Well, the professional debut. Look out for Laley on Saturday night. Tremendous young talent, as is this man, Cameron Vong. I mean, I don't know how he's had been so active these last couple of weeks. Must be something to do with unbelievable performances, Cameron. Um, again, your third fight in what has been, what, five, six weeks? Something like that. Very difficult getting you matched. Everybody's seen your talent, of course, firstly in Sheffield, then in Newcastle, and now a big fight for you in Belfast. Yeah, um, I wanted to be active, and uh, that's what I've done. Three fights in the space of two months. Uh, it's unheard, un unheard of, really, so I'm very humble and grateful to be in this spot, and massive thank you to you and Frank for uh, getting us this active. What have you learned so far? I know you're very assured, very confident as well, but so far, two fights in, in the programme, already finding your feet. Yeah, definitely. Um, I love being under the lights, under that pressure. Um, I feel I was born to do this job, so I just take it all in my stride, and... Saturday night, I'm looking to put on a massive performance to end the year. Well, viewers, tune in to watch the one Cameron Vong on Saturday night. Talk about uh, all Irish fights on the card. Let's talk about Fergus Quinn against Jared Hughes. Fergus, welcome. Um, again, coming on before the bell, all action fight. Going to kick off the night in style on Saturday and get these Irish fans screaming and shouting. Looking forward to this one against Jared. Adam, can I cry to you? Got the wrong one. <laughs> cheers, that's that's chink. Cheers for the Hey, Jared, if you Rudy want to. <laughs> well, we can maybe make Fergus as well if you're up for it after. <laughs> yeah, Ruin, welcome. You're ready for Jared Hughes on Saturday night. Thank you, Eddie, for the opportunity. I'm ready to showcase my talent. You ready, son? You ready? You ready? Boy, I'm ready, son. Let's go. Let's have it. Let's do it. He said it, son. Well, I'm glad it was you instead of Fergus because, uh, you know, I, I don't know what uh, Fergus would have said to me. We're probably at the same weight anyway. Yeah. Jared, big opportunity for you as well. Yeah, massive opportunity. Um, I've trained really hard and uh, I can't wait to put on a statement on Saturday night. Thank you, both boys. Look forward to the head to head between you. And Fergus, welcome. Part of Condon Boxing, <laughs> of course. Thank you, Sean, as well. Um, lots been said about you. Again, sold a huge amount of tickets on Saturday. Going to be a cracking atmosphere. Yeah, it's going to be great. You know, there's a big crowd coming up from Blake and, uh, you know, it's just glad to get the opportunity. You know, I'm an all-action fighter and I plan to be in exciting fights and Saturday night will be no different, so can't wait for it. Well, thanks to boys down there. We moved to four championship fights up here and as Sean, you were so helpful. We're going to start off with you on Saturday night, of course, against Sam Maxwell. Tremendous fight. Great opportunity for you as well. Again, you guys, everyone up here sold a huge amount of tickets and this is a cracking fight between you and Sam Maxwell. 
Yeah, um, as many of us know, me and Sam were stable mates for around two years, maybe two and a half years. We've sparred hundreds of rounds, and we know each other very well. Um, I know what Sam does well, he knows what I do well, and it's going to be a game of who can stop who from doing what they do best. Um, I believe I have a great boxing IQ, and I believe we have a great fit, a great fight ahead. Um, judging from our spars, you're paid to watch them, trust me. Talk about this card for us a little bit as well on, on Saturday. Of course, the four main fights up here as well. you will be the first of those four as well, but a tremendous fight card. A lot of people you know very, very well. Yeah, I mean, I've shared a camp with everyone at this table, I think, almost. Um, and the fate, this is probably the best show Belfast has ever seen in terms of 50-50 fates and in terms of atmosphere on Fate Week in terms of social media in terms of everyone asking me stop me in the street it's really really the best car Belfast I've ever seen um, and I just can't wait to be part of it Finally for you one thing that I've noticed up at this top table is really it's must win for everybody Yeah this 100%. top table like, I'm talking about career ending I'm talking about the opportunities for big fights same, exactly the same for you and Sam Yeah 100% as it says before here's one of the um, someone in the interview uh, Sam's trying to get his, his uh his career back on track with big fights. Um, all his fights, even though the ones he's lost, he's been very competitive. And, and, and I'm trying to break through into the big scene with the big names and, and get on more matchroom um, cards, you know. So um, for me and for everyone here at this table, we all stand in the same position. And we all, every fighter, has no advantage in terms of um, pressure because we all have it. We all must win. Well, over to Sam. Sam, I'm delighted to see you back because I thought... You were fantastic against Dalton Smith. You took that fight. It was a, a big step up after a little bit of inactivity. I know you had the run out on our card. But I, I said to the team, we need to get you back in a big fight. You've got it here. Another massive opportunity for you in Belfast on Saturday. Yeah, definitely. I really appreciate you getting me back in the, at the top level. And um, yeah, I prepared well and I'm, I'm looking forward to this fight. Shared plenty of rounds before with Sean as well. You obviously like the fight. You, you believe it will be as competitive as he talks about. The spars were good fun as well. What are you expecting from the fight? Yeah, I know how good Sean is. And then, like you said, like he said it as well, um, the spars, you, you'd pay to watch them. And if that's anything to go by, it's going to be a great fight. And uh, yeah, just, just who's going to turn up on a day and get, get it right? Uh, that's how he's going to win. And I'm going to make sure that's me, bring my A game. And finally, you, you're a stellar amateur. And, and I guess at one stage you were a prospect. But a couple of defeats at high level now takes the pressure off a little bit, but this moment in your career, like I said to Sean, must win for you on Saturday as well. Definitely, it's an important fight. Um, like, yeah, I've uh, took a few losses. My last fight was a big loss um, against Dalton, but I felt like I held myself well in the fight, so I know I've got the talent, I know I've got the ability to, to still push on again and reach the top. I don't think I'm, I'm finished. Um, there's lows left in me, and I'm looking forward to showing that on Saturday. Good. Well, cracking fight to kick off those big four fights. Sean McComb against Sam Maxwell. This, for me, is a, a fantastic fight. Keeping Ajarko against Troy Williamson. You know, it's a fight that we wanted to make for a while. Respect to both for stepping up. It's exactly the kind of fights that we want to see. You talk about big stars coming through in Belfast. Again, I talk about tickets. Keevan has sold bundles of tickets on Saturday night. We've been looking to put him in a big fight to establish himself as a headliner moving forward. But the man to my left, Troy Williamson, tough as old boots. I mean, I remember the fight back in which seems like a while ago now, against Ted Cheeseman, fight of the year when he knocked out Ted Cheeseman, who, who kind of finished his career that night, if you like, as well. But Troy, welcome. I mean, the one thing about you, Troy, is every name that we gave you, wherever it was, the answer was yes, yes, yes. Um, again, talk about must-win fights. Fantastic fight between you and Keevan on Saturday night. A must-win for you at the weekend. Definitely, yeah. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank yourself and Matthew and Boxing for giving me the opportunity, but... Um, you made the wrong choice uh, calling my name out to fight Keevan because uh, I'm coming on Saturday night to give, to give it me all and I'll be getting a win. I think when people talk about this fight, they know how tough you are. They know Keevan can stand and fight. He can box as well. Is the plan for you 10 rounds at a very, very fast pace in this fight to test out the durability, the heart of, of Keevan Ajarko? Is that how you see yourself winning the fight? Well, that's, that, that's what I do. Um, I, set, I, set a, I set a high pace. Um, people underestimate my boxing ability, but I can box, and you're going to see that on Saturday night. Um, Kevin hasn't boxed at my level. He knows that. You know that. Everybody here knows that. So he keeps saying it's a big, it's a big step up for him, which it is. And uh, we're going to see how much he's got because he's going to be took to the well. And we're going to see if he can cope. And that's the plan. Take him to the well and try and stop him. You think you think you'll break him down on Saturday night? 
I'm like you say. I'm, I'm, I've trained really hard. Uh, uh, I'm injury free for the first time in four or five years, which is a massive confidence boost. And um, I'm punching harder than ever. I'm stronger than ever. And I'm coming to, to put on the show Saturday night. Kevin, you've been after a big fight for a while, and Belfast, of course, like last time. You boxed in Dublin in front of 9,000 now, around 7,000 on Saturday in Belfast. Huge amount of tickets sold. Exactly what you've been after. The, the platform, the moment for you on Saturday night. Yeah, it's been a dream to uh, box back in Belfast on a massive card. Um, I used to go to watch fights in the SSC, so to be fighting in the SSC in a massive fight back home, it's it's unbelievable for me. But, as yeah, Troy says, it's a massive step up for me. But at the time of with him it was a massive step up for him against Cheeseman do you know what I mean everyone has that one fight where they have to step up to the plate and that's going to be Saturday night for Kevin Ajarko I prepared best this has been the best camp I've ever had and I look forward to going out and putting on a punch perfect performance He talks about the ability that he has to box as well but we all, we all know Troy Williamson is good on the front foot he sets a great pace he's very very tough as well willing to do whatever it takes looking to mix it up on Saturday night how do you win this fight? Just by being the best Keen Ajarko, which is what you'll see on Saturday night, I believe I'm better in every department. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Um, Troy's had a very tough career the last five years. He's been in wars, um, a lot of miles on the clock, and you, you take in the spawn and the accountability of that. So he only fights one way, and I'm prepared for the best Troy Williamson on the on Saturday night, and you'll see the best Keen Ajarko, and it's going to be fireworks. I know everyone says win by any means necessary, but when you visualise the fight, we you know you're a sharp shooter, he's very aggressive. You see yourself taking him out inside the distance? Yeah, without doubt, I, I go into every fight believing I'll take anybody out. I know how hard I hit. Um, someone said on social media the other day, how long has he not stopped someone? My last three fights have went 10 rounds because I had an injury and I couldn't capitalise on when I had people hurt, but injury free, best camp, fittest, strongest I've ever been. So. Saturday night, if that opportunity presents itself, then... It sounds like you're copying what I said. Huh? It sounds like you're just saying what I said. It sounds like, I, like what you said. No, it's, well, it's what I'm saying. I don't want no, injury, no excuses from you Saturday night or the day after when I win. Oh, I had major surgery on my elbow. I, I, cut, I couldn't cut weight properly. I couldn't have just had a kid and whatever else. There is no excuses from me. I don't want no Listen, excuses. There's, there's no excuses. That's, you didn't want the fight. Being forced into taking a okay. fight. Why is the fight happening then? You pick, you, it, was either, it was an ultimatum to you. You either took the fight or you're getting released. Eddie, is that right? You said that in an interview. You said it in an interview. If you're a fighter, is that willing to take 50 50 fights? You've got to let him go. Are you aiming at this kid? Uh, I mean, I feel like it was the right fight for him to take. He accepted it. But. So, so, there, so there we go. Keem Jocko didn't turn no fight down. Let's get Except it straight. Let, why you let, be let's, get, let's get it straight. I don't, in my career... Accepted it, otherwise you were going to be... In, in my career, I want to go down a certain path. We asked for one fight. It doesn't really matter where well we, we, we are and we're fighting on Saturday night, so... At the end of the no game. more talking. We didn't, get, we didn't get that fight. It just gave me more time to prepare, and that's why the fight's happening. I'm a fighter. I've never turned down a fight in my life, hence why this fight's happening. I look forward to Saturday night. I've prepared the best. And big shout-out to Holy Trinity Boxing Club because we've got three former Holy Trinity boxers on this show, and it's a credit to them. And finally, just one question for both of you. We talk about must win. Troy, you defeat on Saturday night. Your career's in, in a difficult position. I, I, I wouldn't say it's a must win because when I beat Kevin, he's a old year, 25. He's still young. He's got, he's got plenty of years to come and he'll come again. Kevin, must win? Yeah, no, must win. Every fight's a must win for me. I, I never want to take a defeat, never, ever. So, yeah, it's a must win for me. But, I mean, I'm 27, by the way. I just turned 27 yesterday. I was expecting a happy birthday from you, Troy. Um, but yeah, I'm still young, 13 and 0. Um, every fight is a must win, do you know what I mean? To progress to that next level, to become a world champion. I want to be the first black Irish world champion, so um, every fight is a must win for me. Um, but there's no pressure. I don't look at it as, of, oh, this is a career defining fight. This is just another scalp on my record to push on to the next level. Well, cannot wait. Keeping a Jarko against Troy Williamson. Cracking fight, as is this one. I saw these boys. Face off yesterday at the workout. Tyrone McKenna against Lewis Crocker. The Battle of Belfast cannot wait. Again, talk about tickets, talk about atmosphere. This is going to be red hot on Saturday night. Lewis, I'll start with you. Welcome. Um, just a, a, an amazing time for Irish boxing you saw last week in Dublin. And a big opportunity for all of the winners on Saturday night to move into massive 
fights in Ireland or around the world on our schedule and you fancy your chances against this man on Saturday night? For sure. Um, I went against Tyrone, sets me up um, with huge opportunities, especially heading into next year. I have the platform of the zone at Belfast v Belfast fight as well at this magnitude. It hasn't happened for years, so I'm excited. What are you expecting for, from this man? I mean, he's been around now a while, very, very tough, always in exciting fights. He's going to be bang up for it. We know that. Huge amounts of tickets sold by both of you as well. The atmosphere is going to be incredible. Expecting a tough night in the office? Of course. You know, Tyrone's a good fighter. Tough, uh, tough as old boots, as, as you say. Um, he's durable as well, and um, he's been around. He has the experience, like he always says. So I'm looking forward to putting on a show and finally get the opportunity to show everyone what I can do. Tyrone, welcome again. Uh-huh. Cracking head to head last night. You yeah. never disappoint. You know what? It's very own characteristic, characteristic of uh, of Lewis to get on like that. So I think he's feeling kind of the pressure and the nerves of the big fight week. It's his first time being on this big stage. Obviously, I'm well used to it. I've had massive fights. I've fought Pro Grey, Jack Carroll, Mamoun, uh, Jose Felix, um, people like that. So I'm well used to this. This is, this is something I buzz off. Um, this is a game to me. I love this, this kind of fight week drama. Um, it's, it's something I feed on. Um, the, the buzz of Belfast City at the minute for this Belfast v Belfast fight. I think it's been 40 years since the last big, big uh, Belfast v Belfast fight. Hugh Russell, rest in peace, peace to Hugh. Um, he was the last one to have one. Um, so I'm just, it, the buzz in the city is crazy. Everywhere I go, barber shops down the street to shopping, they're talking about it. Pressure really on Lewis for this fight. Yeah. I mean, I know you, you've been in with all those big names, and I feel yeah. like in your career you've had some good wins. You've kind of been a bit unlucky that you've been thrown into those kind of fights at that, those moments in your career, but you've never turned a fight down. Experience going to play a big key on Saturday? I think massively. I think experience is the, the, the key thing I have here. Um, obviously, Lewis is unbeaten. He's 17. No, he's, he's had a, a great career so far, but essentially he hadn't really fought any, at any good level, at any high level. I think there's a lot of factors here with what's he going to react when he goes into a crowd of 7,000 to sell out, more or less, stadium. Um, a, a fighter that's, that's not going to back down, a, a guy that, that's got hit by some of the hardest people, hardest punchers in the world, and, and, la- and laughed at them, got up and laughed at them. Several times. Listen, the, I fought my last fights, the who's who of boxing. You fought the who the fuck's here of boxing. Yeah. Like, there's a complete difference here. Jack Talk and cheese, experienced, and experienced. We don't know what you're like when you actually get stuck in with someone with a live opponent. You fought bums. You've not did ten I'm bums. I'm fighting Norman on Saturday. Do you? See, you, you keep thinking that. You keep thinking that. <laughs> you, you can tell you're nervous. Or the way you're acting is not the way you act. You actually. You, thought I was you normally be act yesterday. You actually, you no, not class, so, yeah. Cool and calm, and collect. That's where you are. But you're you're acting out of character. You're getting very animated and, and screaming on your face like a eleven year old girl. Me, I, I had to take a pain. Usually, you're a big talker. You said nothing yesterday. What? You said big talk. You said nothing yesterday. Didn't you? In my head, it's going. Oh, That's cringe. Oh, look at this. I was, I was cringy. What you done yesterday? It was embarrassing. <laughs> you let yourself down. Don't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> One thing you've had for this fight is plenty of prep yep. as well. We know this has been happening a while. It's been a proper training camp. You feel but like you're in a different kind of condition. It's been a year and a half training camp. I've had two fights fall through the week before the fight, um, but it's been a year and a half of learning. I've been in the gym constantly from the from the cause of the fights that have, that have fell through. I've been in had the I wouldn't say it's inactivity the last year and a half of not had the fight, but I've had the fight comps and it's just been a week before the fight that the fights fell through. So I've had the good sparring. The, I've done the weight cuts. I've, I've I've trained hard. I've done a lot of learning with Pete Taylor, who's an unbelievable coach. Um, and I'm just hungry to get in there and have an hour war. Get in blood bath. You're going to see absolute fabrics on Saturday night. I know you always dig in and you are always prepared to do what it takes but in this atmosphere again it's boring talking about tickets but I've seen how many you've sold personally yep. for this fight the atmosphere you, you can't back down in this fight I could have sold double as much as I sold but I was away in Dublin and I, I, there was too much stress of, of that tickle sale and you know how stressful tickle sale can be oh thanks for that <laughs> but uh, listen I've done what I, what I had to do I sold a lot of tickets for this fight I have a lot of fan base coming I thrive off the fans I fight for the fans, I've always said it. I mean, I didn't need to take this fight. Um, I obviously was a bit ahead of, of Lewis, but once this fight was put to me, 
I said I can't turn it down. I'd be a hypocrite if I did turn it down. I always say a fate for the fans, and this is a fate that the fans are dying for. As you can see, the buzz about the city is all about this fate. And finally, to both of you, Saturday night, predictions. I mean, can you get this guy out of there? Or you 100%. have to wear him down over the distance? Not a chance. Not a chance. <laughs> Listen, no mas. He's going to quit. He's going to realise he's in too deep. He's going to be like, Jesus, I don't think Tyrone's going to be this active. Want hit me the, he's going to hit me the hardest punches he can, and I'm going to be laughing at him coming forward, and he's going to go, fuck, I didn't you, expect You've that. had one fight at Wilder, and you were piss poor a year and a half ago against Chris Jenkins, who's right. way past it. Uh-huh. We should have beat yeah, you. Chris Jenkins would be due. You haven't had a fight. You haven't, like, where, where have you been spectacular? Where have you got this hype? Yeah, Where's the hype? Like, relevant talk now. I'm going to smash you. Exactly, somebody. so shut up. It's him See? talking to me, not you. <laughs> button down, button up, sorry. Right, Lewis, you're right to reply. He's got a good chin, this man. Can you get him out of there? Uh, absolutely. Supremely confident going to murder. Well, the Battle of Belfast Saturday night cannot wait. Tyro McKenna against Lewis Crocker and a massive fight for both men in the main event as Michael Conlon returns up at 130 pounds to fight this man, Jordan Gill. Seen him with some fantastic wins in some thrilling fights all over the UK. Now in Belfast, on Saturday night for the moment of his career as well. Jordan, welcome. Um, you've seen this man up close before. You've been part, of course, of, of Lee Wood's team in that tremendous fight. Really the moment of your career. Really nothing to lose. I know I put, you put the pressure on yourself, but the reality is, you know, it's the, the homecoming for Michael Conlon. Again, it's a new weight division. It's a new trainer. It's a new promotional team, new platform. And for you, you can just come and take it all and lend yourself huge opportunities through victory on Saturday. Yeah, I feel great. There's no pressure on me at all. Um, and that's the way I'm looking at it. You know, it's a massive opportunity for me to put myself where I need to be. And I'm just buzzing, ready to go. I mean, I guess for everybody moving up a division, it's fight week's a little bit nicer. But we felt for a while that you needed to make that move from 26 to, to 130. And I guess tomorrow, that's going to be a nicer place to be around midday. It's been a nicer place to be for the last six to eight weeks. It's, I mean, it's been happy. And... Uh, just feeling the benefits of it and I'm feeling strong and I'm, I'm feeling great. So, yeah, tomorrow on the scales, I'm not going to look like a skeleton uh, like I did at 26. And, you know, looking back, I probably should have moved up maybe three to four years ago. I guess one question here is how much more of, of both of you guys got to give the sport? You both feel that you've got a tremendous amount still to give on Saturday, but going to be a tough fight. You can both punch. You both have tremendous movement, got good boxing IQ as well. Should be a great fight to watch, but willing to go to the well if needed. Yeah, I mean, I always am. I, I think, you know, one fight that highlighted that I've got no quit in me is the Gurphy fight. And, you know, whether I have to do that again, I'm not sure, but we'll see. It's going to be a great fight. I think, you know, when he boxed Lee, it was fight of the year, and I'm expecting another one on Saturday. So I'm really excited, ready to go. And... Uh, all the pressure's on him. He's the star of the show. He, I'm just the opponent. Good time or bad time to fight Michael Conlon? Of course, uh, new trainer, new division, but coming off a, a tough knockout defeat as well. You're coming off the fight to Kiko Martinez as well a while ago, but you see holes in this man. You believe you can hurt him up at 130 pounds? There's only one way to find out, uh, and that's to fight on Saturday. I believe I can hurt him. Um, I believe I can you know, win this fight no, anyway. Michael, new surroundings for you in this training camp, Miami. Very nice to see the work with Pedro Diaz, tremendous trainer as well. A nicer place for you, up at 130 pounds. New chapter in the career. Excited for a, a tremendous show on Saturday night. Yeah, thanks everybody for coming first and foremost. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm in a great place mentally, physically, everything. You know, I'm in the best place I've been in a long time. Um, really excited about fighting it rather than just being excited about it being over and, and having the win. I'm looking forward to the actual fight and uh, I believe we'll go on Saturday night and put on a destructive performance. Is that a reflection of the new weight class particularly? If I found that? Yeah, it's the easiest ever, ever made weight so I can't say it. even if I was probably, if I really wanted to I could probably make 126 right now if I, like, if I wanted to push it but I don't need to, and it's been nice, it's been comfortable. I've enjoyed the whole fight week. It's been great. Um, I'm excited to just go in and perform. The man to my left really, as I said, nothing to lose, but 
you expect to, to be spiteful in there on Saturday night. You, you've said in numerous interviews, you win this fight by knockout. That's what you expect from, from a talented Jordan Gill, but you think you'll be too much for him. Yeah, listen, I know Jordan. I know he's a good fighter. Um, I know he has skills. He's, he's a smart boxer when he wants to be. And if you're not on your game, Jordan will beat you. Um, so I need to be on my game. But, you know, going to Miami, training with Pedro, I have a new lease of life. It's, I feel like I've just hit the reset button. And as we spoke about recently, he's not going to teach me anything new in eight weeks. He's just dusted me off and brought me back to doing what I do best. So that's what I'm excited about. I'm, I'm excited about the performance and, and putting in what we've been working on and, and things we've been doing in the gym, in the ring on fight night. It's going to be a great night. Um, I'm sitting here and I feel, I feel bad that Tyrone and Lewis are not main event, really, <laughs> because... That's an unbelievable fight. And, and when we done this show, as Conlon Boxing, before Matt Room and, and the Zone came on board, that was the main event. I wasn't involved. And, you know, I feel like a, a bit of a dickhead, in a sense, you know, <laughs> coming in. Because, you know, what a fight that is. And, and I'm excited for both lads. And, you know, Ajarko and, and Williamson as well. Another fantastic fight. The whole card is, is great. And it's been a pleasure to, to work alongside Matt Room with Conlon Boxing and, and put it together. Absolutely, and I saw your post as well. Of course, congratulating Katie Taylor last week. What a night in Dublin you as well. Think you were cry in the I, was, I was close. I, I would yeah. have watched it, I swear. Yeah. I, I, and I, I loved it. I'll yeah. be honest, I'll give you credit because you showed real, true passion towards her, and it's deserved mm. because she's an unbelievable athlete, the, the greatest athlete from this island ever, no matter what. Uh, and that comeback. You know, no matter what, if the, if the knockdown is counted in the first round, she still wins by split decision. So it doesn't matter really. But what a what a performance! The best I've seen her boxing in a very long time, and uh, everybody doubted her. So that kind of solidified her, her position as the greatest athlete ever, in my opinion. And what we saw last week, of course, is what we'll see this Saturday as well. The atmosphere just on another level, and you know, big wins for Irish boxers last week. Obviously, Gary Cully getting back on board. Paddy Donovan looks spectacular as well. I know Thomas Carty's still learning, but you talk about the fighters on this card as well. It's, it seems to be a, a real golden time for Irish boxing with Katie and yourself yeah. being able to headline in those, those big cards and draw big crowds, and the support's incredible. Well, now you have the north and south of the border. We can you know, bring it all together, the 32 county, and we'll do the big one at Crook Park. And finally, as well, I know that they've got to take care of Jordan Gill on Saturday, but... Your ability to draw crowds, obviously home, away, New York, wherever it is, there's massive opportunities for you at 1.30. You, you must win this fight on Saturday. You do it in style. The future is huge for Michael Connor. Yeah, listen, I, I got to go in and take care of Saturday night first. Um, you know, I have a live opponent who's, who's fighting for his career in front of me, so there's nothing underestimated. Um, he's a good fighter. But I've got to go in and do it good on Saturday, and then we look forward. Oh, thank you, Michael. Thank you, Jordan. A tremendous fight card in Belfast on Saturday. Still buzzing from Dublin. I think you're going to see another historic atmosphere at the SSE Arena, live on the zone around the world. Of course, Ruan Farrell against Jared Hughes, Fergus Quinn as well, Cameron Vong, Lady Butterjig as well. Look, look out for those guys on Before the Bell as we move on to four tremendous fights out here. Sean McComb. Um, against Sam Maxwell, Kevin Ajarko against Troy Williamson, Tyrone McKenna against Lewis Crocker, and of course the main event, the return of Michael Conlon against Jordan Gill up in the super featherweight division. Huge fights ahead for both. Thrilling night, live on the zone on Saturday. We'll see you for the weigh-in tomorrow, and we're going to face off the guys up here now. Thank you.